A few showers, a few thunderstorms possible tonight, but we're not expecting any severe weather. It looks like it could rain at any minute here in the River City of Decatur on our Breeze Camera Network, but there's no rain out there yet. 68 degrees. Rain chances will pick up by about 7, 730. And you'll see that. I'm going to show you the latest data hour by hour in just a second. But current temperatures, how about 70? Even a cloudy sky in 70 here late February. I'll take it. 66 in Scottsboro and 67 degrees in Fort Payne. There's also a lot of tree pollen. Maybe be getting outside a little bit more the next few days with the warmer air. Uh, but again, it is pollen season and it is early. Tonight's forecast, a few showers and storms, most likely after 8 o'clock through about 1 o'clock in the morning. Maybe a couple of showers left at 7 a.m. But overall, I think our rain chances tomorrow come back after 2 in the afternoon as the front that comes through tonight moves back to the north fairly quickly as a warm front. So a few showers past the noon hour tomorrow. Overall, a lot of clouds and get used to the clouds, even when Wednesday when we get close to 80 degrees, it's still going to be mostly cloudy. Uh, the flow here, we call it from the due west here in the middle levels of the atmosphere. A disturbance coming in from the northwest, though. After 7 o'clock, it'll probably start to show up here. There it is. By about 8, 835, scattered showers, a few thunderstorms. Our winds out of the southwest around 10, maybe gusting to 25 or 30 miles an hour with a few of these thunderstorms. This is 10 o'clock from Russellville to Moulton, moving towards Decatur. These are going to slide to the east and southeast, maybe a little bit of lightning going on with these by midnight tonight, but no severe weather, just some gusty winds. As we get into tomorrow morning, our winds are actually going to start to shift back to the northwest very briefly and then back to the south late tomorrow afternoon. And that'll put us in the 60s for a majority of the day, but we just might squeak out some low 70s as well. By 7 o'clock tomorrow evening, we're dry again. So even though we have a chance of rain about every day this weekend to the weekend, some days are going to overachieve. And I think one of those days will probably end up being Saturday and Sunday with scattered light showers and our temperatures may be closer to the lower 60s. So keep checking back for those updates. Windy on Wednesday, that chance of rain coming in probably after 9 o'clock, mainly across northwest Alabama up into middle Tennessee and then early Thursday, a few showers possible, but 81 for the high. Notice we dropped 21 degrees Thursday into Friday, and right now we're not talking about any threat of severe weather.